Hello, I'm here to teach you about uh, number systems in general. This is going to include binary, octal, uh, hex, any basically number system. Uh, those are just some examples of specific ones that are commonly used. Um, so basically, every number system has uh, its own base. For example, decimal, the number system that you and I use on a daily basis, uh, has is base 10. That entails that it has 10 symbols that represent uh, that that are used to represent a number. Uh, so we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. <clears throat> so you can make a number using any uh, uh, any number of uh, those digits, however long it be, um, however long it may be. <clears throat> so, you know, if you look at some of the other ones, uh, there's binary, and that's a base 2 system. So you only have a 0 and a 1 to represent numbers. <clears throat> um, if you look at hexadecimal, that's base 16, so it has 16 digits. Uh, and that's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then A, B, C, D, E, F. Uh, and those are, the A uh, goes after the 9. So it just kind of goes in order. Um, so in this case, uh, the A would be what you would uh, think of as, or what we would think of in the decimal system as 10. And B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, E is 14, <clears throat> and F is 15. Um, so that's how they get the 15 different, or the 16 different symbols, including zero. Um, now the way when you see a number. Uh, you kind of kind of automatically tell off the bat what it you know how much what, what value it represents because uh, your brain has been trained to think of like that um, so it's, it just kind of comes naturally to you uh, but I'm gonna tell you what exactly your brain goes through uh, when it sees a number that lets you know how much it is uh, and this is a different way of what you normally think or what most people normally think of uh, numbers when they look at them. Uh, but this is to serve you when teaching you other bases or other number systems. So it's easier to, to think of other number systems when you think like this instead. Um, so <clears throat> when you first see a number, you basically look at how many digits there are. Uh, is it a one-digit number? Is it a six-digit number? Um, and then you scan through each digit one by one and look at the value in that, in that column. Um, and depending on which column it is, uh, it multiplies by various things. Um, for example, if I were to show you this number, uh, 286, you, you obviously know that there's two 100s, there's eight tens, and there's six ones. You can add this together. The first column that you, re you see in any uh, decimal number represents the number of ones. The second column represents the number of tens. Third column represents the number of hundreds, then thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, on and on and on. So you look at this. You you can start either way. It's easier to start with the highest one first. So you look at this, the number of one hundreds, and there's a two there. So we know that there is two one hundreds. So two times one hundred equals 200. <clears throat> now you look at this, the number of tens, there's eight tens. Eight times ten is eighty. So we have a 200 here, we have an eighty here, and this is the number of ones. So six times one is six. So we have six ones. We have 200 plus eighty plus six, which equals 286. Um, so that might take a while to grab, you know, get your head around. Um, but you got to start thinking like this if you're going to learn hex or binary or any of the other uh, number systems. Um, and the way that you can determine how much each column is worth is if you take the the base of your of your number system. So in our case with decimal, it's ten. And for the first column, you take that base to the zeroth power. For the second column, you take that base to the oneth power. For the third column, you take that base to the second power. Um, so 10 to the 0 equals 1. That's just basic algebra. 
10 to the 1 equals uh, 10. 10 to the 2, sorry, wrong way. 10 to the 2, uh, for the third position, 10 to the 2 equals 100. 10 to the 3 is 1,000. 10 to the 4 is 10,000. 10 to the 5, 100,000. So on and so on. So if you have a number of, if you have a base of uh, 2, so for binary, you go, for, for the number, if you're reading it like this, you'd know that the first one counts for 1, because 2 to the 0 is 1. The second column counts for uh, 2, because 2 to the 1 is 2. Third column counts for 4, because 2 to the 2 is 4. And then 8, because 2 to the 3 is 8. And 2 to the 4, to the 5th, to the 6th, to the 7th. So that's how you, that's how you look at a number. Um, and that's what kind of I, I've written up here. 10 to the 2 is 10. 10 to the 0 is 1. It's hard to see that. Oh well. Um, so I've given you uh, a couple other ones, examples that you can use. Uh, so this this one, there's uh, one, a single 1, 9 tens, and 1 100. So 100 plus 90 plus 1 equals 191. Um, and then for variation, we have, uh, looks like, so we have zero ones, we have eight tens, we have nine one hundreds, and then we have two one thousands. So 2,000 plus 900 plus 80 plus zero equals 2,980.